Oki, Nitaniku Serene Weasel Traveler. I'm from the Bikani Nation of the Black Book Confederacy. I'm here to teach ribbon skirts. In front of me, I have all the materials required to make a ribbon skirt. First of all, I have the cotton here that's pre-shrunk. Um, I just washed in warm water and dried in the dryer fully. Um, this prevents any shifting or shrinking of the material after the skirt has been made. Um, it's kind of nice to pre-shrink so that your ribbons don't pucker up as well. The next thing I do have here are the threads and I like to coordinate my threads um, with the ribbons and the color of the fabric. Elastic band. I like using one inch to one and a half inch. You can go wider if you'd like. A straight pin. This will just help me thread the elastic through the waistband once it's sewn. Straight pins. A lighter. I like using the lighter just to singe my ribbon so that there's no fraying once the skirt is completed. I also have my measuring tape to take measurements. Ruler for a straight line when I'm cutting. This is optional, my yardstick, I like using it. And then a marker, scissors, and pinking shears. Pinking shears are optional as well. I like using pinking shears inside the skirt for the raw hem so that you can cut the raw hem so that there's no um, fraying as well. And then I have my sewing machine and then my iron and ironing board. So the first step in making a ribbon skirt is getting the measurements. So what I like to do is measure the waist and then I like to measure the length. So from the waist or the desired length and then I just go as far as the length of the dress and I just record them down on a piece of paper. I have my fabric folded in half on the table here and I'm going to measure out the waist. So for example, we'll use 36 inches for the waist and I'm going to divide that by four because this is just going to be the first panel of the skirt. So let's say the front of the skirt. So if I divide that by half, that will be 18. And we want to divide that by four, which will be nine inches. So from the folded edge of the fabric, I'm going to mark nine inches. And from the nine inches, so that's just going to be the front part of your waist. But we need it to be a little bit bigger so that it's um, more comfortable and easier to wear. After I mark nine inches, I'm going to add four inches to the top, which will take me to 13 inches. And I'm going to mark that here. With my ruler, I'm going to line that up straight with the center fold of the fabric here. And I'm just going to draw a straight line for 13 inches. And that will be the waist. So we have our waist, waist line drawn out here and marked. Now we're going to go with the length. And for example, I will do 38, length, 38 inches. But what we need to add onto the 38 inches is another two inches for a hem. So I'm going to go 40 inches and I will mark that with my pencil. And we need some space at the bottom of the ribbon skirt so that it's easier to walk. So what I'm going to do is do the same measurement from the top here of 13 inches and then I'm going to add another 6 inches. So that's going to take me to 19 inches. And then I'll mark that. And with my ruler, that's why I like to have my yardstick. 
So from the 19 inches here, I will draw another straight line. So we have the <clears throat> so we have the hem of the skirt and then the waist. So now we're just going to connect the two, the waist to the um, hemline. What I like to do is so that the hem lines up smoothly. Um, I take about three inches here and I go straight up. And then I'll do the same for the waistband so that it's a nice fold. Um, I'll do a straight edge here, a squared corner, and then of the three inches, and then I will just kind of blend the two points and then draw a line. And then there you have your first panel. So once the pattern is drawn out, I just take my scissors and then I will cut. Cut out the pattern piece. So we have our first pattern piece cut out and it'll be your first panel. Okay, with the second half of fabric, same thing. I'm going to lie my first panel down, meet the folded edges together. I will follow the same piece of fabric that I cut out. Okay, so once I have both panels cut out, I'll have the two pieces of front and back for the ribbon skirts. So once you open it up, you'll have your first panel and your second panel, front and back of the skirt. I have my panels cut out. I have the waist and the hem. I'm just going to lie the panel flat and I'm going to measure out where my first ribbon is going to go. Okay, so I'm going to apply the ribbon and I'm going to just mark out my first ribbon where it's going to be sewn down. I will use my ruler and so I have two inches for the hem, and then I'm gonna go up another three inches, but really you just, wherever you want your ribbon, the bottom ribbon to go, you just mark. So along the bottom of the, I'm just gonna mark a line of five inches across of where my, ribbon is going to be sewn down. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to use my ruler here and mark where I'm going to apply my first row of ribbons. Once I have my first line marked here, I'm going to do the same for my second panel. Five inches up across. I will determine my waistband and the hem. Flat. 
on my surface here. Make sure it's lying nice and flat and then I'll take five inches again so it'll match up when the two panels are sewn together. And I'm just going to mark where I want my ribbon to be sewn. It should lie straight across five inches up and it'll match the first panel. Okay, so I will use the sewing machine now. So I'm going to apply the ribbon onto the ribbon skirt here and I have two and a half meters of ribbon to ensure I have enough ribbon to go around the first panel and the second panel. So front them back. And I'm just going to sew the ribbon on, the bottom of the ribbon on, up on the line that I had drawn. Now that I have my ribbons sewn on, I'm just going to iron them flat just for aesthetic sakes to make it look nice. So when I do sew my ribbon skirts, I like to sew them uh, on the inside of the skirt just so that I don't damage the satin ribbons. And so I'm just going to sew it flat. Then I will do that to both sides. So I'm just going to sew them. And then I think the next step, I'm just going to singe the ribbon so that they don't fray. I'm going to line up my ribbons and the hem of my skirt, optional if you want, you could use straight pins just to hold your pieces down. I'm just going to sew the side seams with a straight stitch. Once again, on the second seam, line up the ribbons and the hem. And continue with the side seams. Okay, so once the side seams are sewn together, I'm going to measure for my hem at two inches and then I will sew the hem up. So I'm going to press my hem two inches up. So I'll fold it like so and then I'm just going to sew along the edge of the fabric there. Now to sew the waist, the waistband and like I said I have a one inch elastic and I'm just going to leave an open space here on the hem so that I can move the elastic band through once I have it stitched down. So 
I will proceed. Excellent. Okay, I'm coming up to where I started my first stitch here, and I will leave the space here, which I will close up once I have the elastic uh, threaded through. Okay, I'm going to, with my safety pin, just pin it to the end of my elastic, and I will use that as a little tool just to help me thread the elastic band through the waist. Okay, here we go. So once the elastic band has been threaded through, I'm just gonna stitch the elastic band closed. I'm going to attach the two ends of the elastic band together and with my sewing machine, I'm just gonna stitch down. Okay, so the two ends are attached, are lying on top of one another and I'm just gonna stitch them down and that'll hold the waistband together. Turn the skirt inside out and you will have your finished product. Thank you for following along with the ribbon skirt tutorial. This is the end result of what we started and I hope that you enjoy making your own ribbon skirts and thank you once again.